Welcome to the Escarpment. This is my model railway build channel and I'm your host Jason. This video today is an August 2021 layout update where I'm going to take you around and show you some of the progress that's been made this month. Now in relation to this month it has been a little slow just due to the fact that the ACT is now in lockdown and with that come slower deliveries. So I haven't um, gone out to pick up hardware that type of stuff i've actually left it to ordering online just due to the fact that we've had some cases that are pretty close to home here now in doing that obviously the deliveries are a lot slower than they usually are and that has slowed down the progress for this month in a moment i'm going to take you around and show you some of that progress uh, there's going to be two main items I'm going to concentrate on the backdrop here on this first helix that takes us from level one up to level two. Secondly, I'm going to take you around and show you the start and the progress that I've made on level one LED lighting for the layout. Now that's been where some of the holdups have been with the deliveries because I'm still waiting on wood to finish off level one. There's just a small section over here and then I've still got to put in the infrastructure under the floating helix. So with that said, let's go have a bit of a look. So I thought I'd start with the, the backdrop that I've continued here on the first helix. You can see over on the right hand side, that's what I had in last time or in the last video. And then where you can see that seam going down there, that's where the new backdrop has gone in. And I'll just quickly show you that as I walk around. And you can sort of see it's all one piece all the way to this area here now you may be asking yourself how did i get that cut so neatly what i did i took another thin piece of mdf board and put it in place and i'll, I'll show a picture here of what that was and what i did was it was just a thin strip because it was easy to bend uh, get it into place where I needed it and then basically what I did was take some key measurements in certain areas on especially around this area down here where I sort of had to cut down that line of wood there obviously the top still had an angle to meet this side of the board once I got that big sheet outside, I took the thin sheet with all the measurements, put it on top, and I used that as a bit of a template to help me draw out the shape. I'd much rather cut less than more. It's just easier to trim if you don't cut enough as opposed to the other way around. Anyway, I'll take you around and just show you from the entry and exit point up top here on the helix. Now, I've just got the light here, so hopefully I don't have that in shot, but just to sort of show you inside here what it looks like. So you can see there I've painted all the inside, make sure the MDF board's totally sealed. And there you have it. Okay, next up is the LED install that I've started down here on level one. Now you can see here, I've just got my portable power supply just to power these lights until I get my actual power box built out, configured and installed. You can see there, and I know I've sort of showed it in a previous video, that's the, the infrastructure I've put in. So I've got these planks of wood uh, that basically where the LED attaches to. And all I've done is use the, the existing 3M sticky on the back of these LED lights. Now the good thing is I've got a flat surface there. There's plenty of surface area that it sticks to. Now another thing about these LED lights, I've chosen to go with 24 volts instead of your standard 12 volts. Uh, I just felt that a, a bit more juice, a bit more light, uh, and I may be able to get away with just having one strip run down. So what I'm going to do now is show you the LEDs when they're turned on, just to see the difference that it makes. You can see there, that's just the normal light. 
and as you know I'm sort of gone up to three levels there's a lot of infrastructure in the way that's blocking light from right down here on level one but anyway let's turn this on okay so you can sort of see I've got this far down on level one now waiting for those deliveries I'll be taking the lighting right up to over here for the rest of level one down this end it makes quite a difference and it's quite quite bright uh, basically I think I'm gonna get away with just using one strip of these 24 volt LEDs I'm only running 20 volts I've still got another 4 volts up my sleeve which I increase if I wanted to increase the, the lighting brightness with the power box down here I will have dimmers on it so I'll be able to control the lighting exactly on level 1 and level 2 you can sort of see across there and that's this end as well so everything's been installed down here and I've also got to do this helix area and that's the stuff I'm waiting for with the deliveries now in saying that I'm still thinking about whether I need to do something on level three. Now level three, I guess, is a lot closer to the lighting from the roof. So it may be okay, but I guess I won't know until I start to build it out a little bit more. But I do have options where, you know, if I needed to, I could fix something on these back walls to hang over and to light level three if I do choose to do that in the future but I think right now I'm just going to get level one and level two in place so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a bit of a, a cab ride uh, just for level one we'll go around level one up through the first helix and out the other side for nothing more just to sort of show you the difference that the LED lighting is making to the layout
So what's next? Well, obviously, as previously mentioned, I need to wait for the deliveries. Uh, hopefully they'll come in before next weekend so I can get stuck into the rest of the LED infrastructure on level one, but also progress the level two. Apart from that, I'm hoping that we do continue to get some good weather over the weekend so I can continue cutting out some of the remaining fascia. Obviously, I still haven't even got back to the fascia on the floating helix. And there's probably a couple of areas here down on level one, which I can't do anything at this point in time, just due to the fact that I've got some major structures that I need to fill out with scenery before I fill in backdrops and that type of stuff. But that'll be another story down the track somewhere. So for now, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.